What if I told you there was a place on every map that you could hide away all of your best loot and practically guarantee that it will never be found? That place is the bottom of the ocean. Think about it, how massive is the wasted space that sits mostly dormant for entire wipes, never to be seen, let alone built on? For this wipe, I took advantage of that space that up until now was wasted, building an absolute tank of a bunker in an inconspicuous location that protects all of my best loot from an offline raid. Admittedly, there's a few potential issues with this method, but everything comes with a risk. Before I get into the details of building this base, we first needed somewhere to live in the meantime. And given that we're planning to live at the bottom of the ocean, let's start by living at the top of the ocean. Tugboats in Rust are rare, but once you have one, you're able to seal it up with your own doors and completely live out of it like it's any other base, except this one moves. I wanted to get my hands on one, but that was going to be easier said than done. Alright, I need a tugboat. There can only be four tugboats at any time on this map, so it's going to be tough to get one. They've spawned at the harbours though, so we've got to head down there and see if we can find one. After making my way down to the nearest harbour and having no luck with a tugboat spawn there, I ran a few more grids to the only other harbour, but to no avail once again. This meant that currently, all four possible tugboats were out somewhere in the map being used, and the only way I could get one for myself would be to sink someone else's. Fortunately, with a bit of scrap, you can buy torpedoes from any fishing village and then use these in a submarine to sink tugboats. I just needed to farm 650 scrap. Alright, so we need 11 torpedoes. Buy them in twos. So 450 scrap worth of torpedoes. And then also a submarine, which is 200 scrap. All just to not even guarantee that we'll get a tugboat. After spending what felt like my life savings on torpedoes and a sub, we found a lone tugboat not too far away that we could sink. Now we just needed to wait for it to respawn at a harbour and claim it for ourselves. Oh, it's actually here. Finally. This only took me like three and a half hours. Secured. Now that I had my tugboat sorted, let's look at the map that we're working with. The base I'm building won't have a tool cupboard, meaning anyone who finds it will be able to grief it very easily. So I'm entirely relying on the isolation of the bottom of the ocean to keep all my best loot hidden for the wipe. With this in mind, we need to pick the best location. Straight away, I want to steer well clear of both oil rigs and underwater labs, which are conveniently located pretty close to each other at the top of the map. I also probably want to go near one of the corners as this allows me to build further out than anywhere else. That leaves me with two choices, and it's a bit of a coin toss. Both locations have their pros and cons, however, I decided to go with the southeast corner as it's further from the spawn beach and closer to the snow for farming. I decided to begin by familiarising myself with the land closest to where I would be building the base. Oh, hello. There's an airdrop over there. Is this the guy calling in the airdrop? Be big. Where is he? There he is. I'm pretty sure he's just got a bow. No! Oh my god, we're both terrible. 100 scrap. And an airdrop. Yeah, that's very decent. We'll take that. We take that. Sweet. Somehow, stealing an airdrop from a lucky naked, I headed north towards the snow to begin farming for the underwater bunker. This bunker would cost me roughly 30,000 metal frags, so it was no small feat, and I also had to build it all in one go. I couldn't do it in stages because the build had no tool cupboard and therefore would decay. You'll see later the trick that I came up with to stop the decay, but for now, I had a lot of farming to do, and as a result, a lot of smelting and furnaces to do as well. 
Because of the cooking process, I decided I would build a small farm base at the bottom of the snow to set up electric furnaces and increase the efficiency of the process. With the shell of the farm base constructed, I now needed to fill it with electric furnaces. I farmed scrap for a bit, including a train tunnel run which gave me enough to tech tree the furnace blueprint and all the industrial parts that go with it. After spending a bit of time setting it all up, we had a working auto smelter consisting of 6 furnaces. Now we needed to farm the 30,000 metal. I'm pretty sure I just heard someone up here farming. Yeah, there's a boat there. There's a guy there as well. There's two of them. Surely these guys are loaded. I'm pretty sure they were just farming. Oh my god. Both of them too. It's like opening presents on Christmas when you kill someone in the snow. Stealing this farm was pretty much a third of what I needed to build the underwater bunker. As I waited for my furnace set up to cook all the metal, I told you about today's sponsor. Rust Clash is an online gambling website, so this one's for my 18 plus viewers. They have case battles, the upgrader, plinko, roulette, mines, jackpot, and of course, cases to open. Rust Clash gives away $25,000 every week through their rain feature. They have a massive variety of deposit methods shown here, including Rust and CSGO skins, as well as crypto and credit card options, some of which give up to a 66% bonus when depositing. You can also get a 5% deposit bonus by using my code Yaxum here. Then, once you're ready, you can cash out with either Rust skins or crypto. Use code Yaxum today to unlock both both rakeback and daily cases which can be claimed every 24 hours for free. And don't forget to gamble responsibly. I decided I would do a small scrap farming run, but that was when I ran into a very important group. Well, that's a GG. This death, although it seems insignificant, was our first introduction to who we're gonna call China. These guys ran the server. They raided whoever they pleased and no one really had the numbers or time to fight back. That was until now that I was on the server. We'll get back to building our relationship with China very soon, but for now, the metal was cooked and it was time to build an underwater bunker. That is more than enough metal for what we need. We're ready to go. We've got plenty of wood to build with. We've got six vending machines for storage to start. Doors. And uh, we've got plenty of diving kits and diving stuff. So let's do this. So I reckon we want to go about... I don't want to go right in the corner because that's too obvious. So someone might find it there. So let's go one grid in from the corner. We'll label that base and we'll uh, dive down there and see if we can build. Right here is perfect, I reckon. Yeah, surely no one's ever finding this. The only way someone's gonna find this is if they dive for the loot that's at the bottom of the ocean. We just gotta pray that doesn't happen. We'll grab a diving set some of the resources, and we'll get building. Oh my god, I think I actually just shit myself. With our first shark encounter out the way, I think I should finally explain exactly what I'm doing down here at the bottom of the ocean. This is the base I'm building, except of course it's going to be on the ocean floor. Its unique design works as a somewhat doomsday bunker to house all our best loot that we'll acquire over the wipe. 
It boasts multiple walls of protection to the core and a bunker entrance, however that's not the way that we'll be defending this base. We are completely relying on this never being found. Not only because it's going to be housing our best loot, but mainly because this base has no tool cupboard. Tool cupboards in Rust are usually essential to building a base, as they claim your area and prevent anyone else from building on it. It would be insane to build a base without a tool cupboard, as you're allowing anyone to grief your base and prematurely end your wipe without any explosives. Unfortunately for me, tool cupboards can't be placed underwater, so we're just going to have to trust that no one will ever find our base. Without a tool cupboard though, we run into another issue. Decay. See, usually you're required to stock your tool cupboard up with resources each day to prevent the base from crumbling due to decay. Without a tool cupboard though, the base will instantly begin the decaying process and won't last more than a few hours before completely disappearing. There is one trick though that can be used to completely stop decay for a full day without a tool cupboard. When a tool cupboard is destroyed, the base sucks up all the remaining resources from the tool cupboard and puts it into the base upkeep, preventing it from decaying for up to a day depending on how much was in the tool cupboard. Using this knowledge, I just needed to make sure that each day I built to the surface of the ocean with twig, placed a tool cupboard, put at least 24 hours of upkeep in the tool cupboard, and then broke the tool cupboard, preventing the base from decaying for a day and allowing it to remain hidden at the bottom of the ocean. I still have a ton of sulfur in here from all the metal I farmed. Should be cooked. Yeah, sweet. We'll throw all of this down in the bunker. That's what it's for. We're going to store all the stuff that we don't need right now, but we're going to need it later. Car goes out. We're definitely going for that. There's no way nobody's already on this. It's been out for a while. But the tugboat should help me board with some cover. We'll see what happens. I've never done this before. What's that? Second? Yeah, second crate. Okay. And there is people on it. But they're still taking scientists. This might actually work. I gotta go for it. One dead. He was too busy looking at my tugboat. <laughs> I think he might have been alone. 
I haven't seen anyone else or heard anyone else. MP5? Oh, there's a mini copter here. Which means, at the very most, there was two of them. But I'm pretty sure he was solo. There's still scientists down here. That means that there's no one hiding down here, which is good. I'm pretty sure there's no one else here. No, minicopter. It's always when I'm down the bottom, dude. They're behind. Oh, they're going for it. Wow, okay. I guess that's the thing. I saw him coming above too, but I was reloading. After getting my ass handed to me on cargo, I decided it was time to hop off for day one. So I took most of my loot from my tugboat and stashed it in the underwater bunker before resetting the decay timer and heading to bed. Unfortunately, my tugboat didn't survive the night. It was sunk only just before I hopped back online, and because it hadn't yet despawned, I was able to salvage all of the deployables and the rest of the loot inside. I would never know for sure who was responsible for sinking my beloved tugboat, but I had my suspicions. I had parked the boat overnight on the coast below the cliffs of Excavator, hoping that it wouldn't be found in such a secluded area. What I learned early on day two though was that the base only just around the corner was online, and they were expanding quickly. As my only suspect, I had to keep an eye on them, as they were also dangerously close to where my secret underwater bunker lay in hiding. Given all my loot had either been stashed underwater or recovered from my sunken vessel, I was no worse off from yesterday. I managed to secure a new tugboat after mine respawned at the harbour, and we were back from being offline raided. Oh, cargo's in. Where is it? Top left. That's actually not a bad spot. People might get there first, but we've got a tugboat. There's still a scientist on the top there. There's a helicopter flying in right now. Oh, shit! And they crashed their mini. Yeah, maybe we won't go for that. Especially if they have HVs. I really can't afford to lose this tugboat. Heli has just spawned right above me here on the map. Do you reckon I can take Heli with a Thompson? I don't know how easy it is to take them from tugboats. Oh, it just got tagged from the land. Can I steal it? Surely it comes for me. Nah, it's going. It's going straight to the guys who are taking it over there. If they take it down in the water, I might be able to get to it first with a diving kit. We'll pull the tugboat up over there. Surely I can't steal this right now. Oh no, it's rocketing. Is that gonna sink my boat? No? It's so close. It's so close. Go down. Oh my god, I got it. But right, I'm dead. It's no, don't worry, don't worry, I got it. And I gotta respawn because it's a tugboat. Holy shit. Where are the crates? 
These are going to be so hard to find. So dark. There's one. Armored door. Okay, not a great start. I need to get a weapon flashlight. This is so hard to see. There we go. Instantly I found one. <laughs> this is so much easier. Rocket C4. Okay, that makes it so worth it. Regardless of what's in these other crates, it's worth it. Oh, the other crates are on the ice sheets there. Oh my god, what a heli. Oh, what? Three rocket C4 crates? And a double armored door? We need to get the hell out of here before they come and raid this thing. This is like one sheet metal door to a lot of profit right now. I'm taking all this boom and I'm going straight to the underwater bunker. I'm not leaving it in this tugboat. We have to put it straight all... No low grade. Nice. Yeah, I'm putting it straight in the bunker. We need these explosive VPs and the explosives themselves, obviously. If you're enjoying the video and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 200k by the end of the year and we're almost there. This thing is a little bit loaded now. <laughs> If this thing gets raided or found, I'm going to be devastated. Absolutely devastated. Those explosives were going to come in handy later on, but if I was to make any more, I was going to need charcoal. So I headed to my furnace slash farm base to set up an automatic charcoal generator before I was rudely interrupted. Wait. No! No! Someone's blowing up my tugboat. No. Oh, it's so gone. Are they using two submarines? I can't do anything. I just need to grab the best shit. Grab the tier three. Yep, it's sunk. No, dude. I'm never going to find them either. Once again, I had lost a tugboat. I moved everything that I had built up over the course of the day from the sunken tug into my farm base, and although similarly to last time how I hadn't lost any loot, the time I had invested into decking out the tugboat and getting it functional was the biggest loss of all. This was a big wake-up call though, as I hadn't really been depoting much in the underwater bunker throughout the day, and my tugboat was quite loaded at this point. I took a moment to move any loot I wasn't planning on using at the moment into the bunker in case my farm base got raided and I lost it all. Then I went on a tugboat hunting mission of my own because if I wanted one back, I needed to sink someone else's. I wonder if these are the guys that blew up my tugboat. Possibly. We'll never know, really. Wait, they've got another one? These guys have two tugboats. I'm getting more torpedoes. Let's blow them both up. There we go, two tugboats down. Easy as that. The torpedoes are so cheap as well to craft once you know the BP. Now we just need to wait for one to respawn at harbour. The tugboats we had sunk here were owned by a seemingly random group who lived on the river and I hadn't yet had any interactions with. They may have been responsible for sinking my tugboat, but there's no way to ever know if there's any truth to that. I just know that they did have half the population of tugboats on the server at their disposal up until this point, and it wouldn't be the last time we had a fight over these ships with them. Getting a tugboat back couldn't come at a better time either, with cargo spawning right in front of me on the way back home. It was a pretty quiet cargo take, with only one group countering who I scared off before they even made it on board, and the run added to my armory and explosive stocks. Things were looking really good, so I decided I would finally acquaint myself with the excavator boys. These guys did not have a tugboat before when I was getting mine, because I would have sunk theirs if I had a choice. Maybe they took the other one that respawned, because I sunk two. Oh. He's there. These guys have expanded so much since I last saw their base. 
Wait. They don't have a door on their tugboat. I could steal that. Have a spare tugboat. They don't have doors on any of it, dude. I could 100% take this. It's coming back out. He was literally just about to seal it. He's given me the doors to seal it. Now I can seal it for myself. Why can't I seal that? Oh my, I'm building blocks from the other TCs. I'm building blocks from their external TCs. I have to move the tugboat if I want to seal that door. And of course he's on his roof now. Can I place the back one on? Well, I've got two of the doors on. Which means I can't really use this tugboat now unless they blow them up. So I've kind of secured it. I just need to get low grade to move it away from the base. Oh! What? What is he doing? There's no way he's just blowing it up right now. Then nobody gets it. <laughs> How many HVs does it take to sink it? I actually have no idea. This guy doesn't hold back. He's actually exploiting that top door from the top of his roof. What is happening? That'll stop him for a bit. Oh, he's got a bolty now. That's a little bit scarier. What? I have to go back. My tugboat's parked right there. I might be able to get back in time. Oh, he's got to be dead. He hasn't got my body yet either. I've got to depot all of this. I reckon I can farm this guy for a few kits though. Oh, there's two of them now. Is that guy just AFK full kit in their compound? They're coming out? Okay, that full kit guy's coming out now. 
My gun's gonna break. Uh. All right. Well, they definitely know my tugboat's here now. Did I just down him? I headshot double hit him. Okay, that was just dumb to push that. I think there's three of them actually. Oh, there is three of them. They're all up there on the cliff. Oh, I have to move the tugboat. They're going to raid it. I should have left. I need to get up to the top door, but there are three of them covering it on that side. He's just holding it. I can't get up there. That's not good. They're on my tugboat now. Sure, I feel like they're going to raid it. There's no way they don't raid it. They shot like five HVs and exploit ammo at, my, at the other tugboat. There's no way they don't have enough. I'm pretty sure you can insta-place a door back on the socket. Wait. No, there's a base right outside where I've parked. It's going to overlap the TC. I'm not going to be able to seal if they raid the door. Yep, here they come. One of them just got back. No doubt with explosives. Yep. I am building blocks. That's not good. I literally have to kill all three of them. They're no doubt just going to HV me or something. What? There's no way that just killed me. They're flamethrowering? People use flamethrowers? Oh, I'm screwed. Yeah, that sucks. And I instantly die to the next nade. Oh, no way. Like fish in a barrel, I had been undone by a couple of grenades and lost a lot. On the bright side, they didn't blow the top doors to the cabin of the boat, so I was able to get the tugboat back, just with nothing inside it. This would have been an unrecoverable loss if I didn't have my secret bunker to fall back on. It meant that I was able to keep rolling on, except with the tugboat loot, I had also lost a workbench level 3. I headed to possibly the most lucrative monument for scrap on any Rust map, the missile silo, to try and recoup some of the losses. I'm going to depot all these comps and stuff before I go down. I can barely carry everything down there as is. May as well depot it first in the tugboat, then go down. Who is that? He's going to have a friend. There's no way he's alone.
on you. I assumed the guy down here was with him. I don't know. He was just naked. Virginia. Okay. Tonya and Virginia. I'll depot this and then I'll finally do my missile silo run. really got a feeling I'm getting camped right now. Those guys that were hanging around just before I came down, I think they're going to be out. That's the worst part about this monument is that it's so easily campable. Kind of just got to send it. No way. Are they raiding my... They're raiding my tugboat. Oh. And he's camping me. Oh my god. It's them too. I gotta put a door in the front. Nice. Sealed. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. Oh, what? They did get the top door. I don't have building privilege anymore. That must have been what the second C4 was. They did blow the top door. Two C4? Do they know it's a sheet metal door? Killed his teammate. Oh, I actually nearly had that. They would have had respawns in the camp event anyway. And they blew the last door. They're taking the whole tugboat. They're leaving now. I gotta find where this I gotta find where these guys live. It should be pretty easy if they park the tugboat at the front to find where they live. They actually came from this direction, and that tugboat's going back that way. So if I wait here, I might see the camper van go past. I have this bag at the harbour that I was using earlier to see if the tugboats respawned. They might actually live at this base that I sunk the two tugboats at earlier. Let's see if they pull up here. They're at least coming this way. Yep, there they are. So they live here, this like village thing. It's a few different bases. In the space of about an hour, I had been raided in my tugboat twice, losing both times. The groups in question were the Excavator Boys and the River Group, both of which outnumbered me. I decided instead of relying on tugboats from here on out, I would expand my farm base and use that to live out of while still storing the best loot down in the bunker. I still got myself a new tugboat, but I was placing a lot less importance on it and was going to use it more as a battleship instead. Farming was the main focus from here on out, as I had revenge to serve. We just gotta keep farming at the moment to try and raid these guys, but I've also gotta make sure that I don't leave too much in this base. We're actually doing pretty good at the farm at the moment, but it's nowhere near enough to raid both those groups. So I gotta make sure I keep taking it and putting it down in the bunker until I need to craft it into the rockets. Cargo again. Is it worth going for? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's literally right there. I can see it. I have to go for that. It's spawned right here. 
Definitely not taking this with us though. Again, while I'm down the bottom, someone pulls up. What's he doing? There's two? There's another group. Oh, that guy's coming back in now. I have to deal with both of them. Okay. He just killed him. The AK guy just killed the guy above me. I'm pretty sure it's just AK guy now. Yeah, he did kill this guy. Nice. We cleaned up this cargo and from it acquired a mini copter, which was definitely going to come in handy. I continued farming and building up more explosives to attempt revenge on both groups who had raided my tugboat. First on the agenda was the excavator group, as I assumed they would be an easier target to get started with given they only had one base rather than multiple. I took my newly acquired minicopter to do a flyover of their base and figure out the best way to attempt this raid. Are they getting raided? Those explosions are right where their base is. Dude, they're totally getting raided right now. What is that timing? They are. Can I counter? Ooh. It's totally that big group. It's got to be China, dude. China just offlining every group. They shot an HV at me. That's optimistic. They're pummeling, dude. There's so many of them as well. There's no way I can counter that. That's so annoying. That group is raiding everyone offline. I guess we just raid these guys instead, this river group. I would have loved to have raided both, but one's good enough, I guess. So these guys have multiple bases is the issue. They've got two like proper bases and then they've got that farm base at the bottom of the river there. I think I could raid it. I'm gonna have to try. So unfortunately, raid target number one had been wiped off the face of the planet by China. I haven't really been interacting with China too much during this wipe so far and that wasn't a mistake. They were deep and the few meetings I did have with them, I was well and truly at a disadvantage. I now turned my attention to the river group, and given I was now only raiding one team rather than both, I was practically ready. So I headed down to the bottom of the ocean and grabbed my stash of sulfur to turn into more rockets before spawning over at their base to sort out a plan of attack. These guys have like three or four bases. I think I just want to raid one, so we got to figure out which one looks most lucrative, or probably more most realistic. It's probably out of these two here. The other ones kind of look like farm bases. No! No way this is raided. I literally just flew over it. I don't see a breach on the actual base. Oh. I flew over this like an hour ago after I saw those other guys getting raided. They must have come straight here. What about this base? This is raided as well. Dude. It's full gutted. This, yeah, this was so recent. There's still loot on the floor. It had to have been China, dude. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I was at a loss. Both enemies of my story had been eliminated before I had my chance, and both at the hands of the same group, China. Now, usually I would wait for China to raid me, and that could be a pretty neat ending to tie up the story. However, my underwater base, as by design, was never going to get raided. And my farm base, if it were to get raided, was not going to be exactly a great raid defense for the story, given it was never meant to be more than a couple of furnaces. With this said, as I was sitting in my farm base questioning what my next move would be, it was basically made for me. There's someone outside. Am I getting raided? No. I just made all these rockets. Like half of my boom is in the base right now and not underwater. Because I was about to go raid that other group. There's no way I'm getting raided right now. There's so many boots. C4. Oh my... There's no way, dude. Oh, they're just raiding the tug. We just want the tug belt, bro. Man. Is there anything in there that you... That you need? No, I'm pretty sure it's just a bit of low grade in the front. You can have it, man. There's literally, I'm pretty oh, sure there's oh nothing. My, that's in the there. only three C4 we had. We were looking for a tugboat. Yeah, no, nah, no worries, bro. I don't really need it. I'm you so sorry, bro. Exactly like Yexel, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, you sound like Yexel. Yeah, it's you, isn't it? <laughs> no cap. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You guys live in V8, eh? I'm pretty sure you're going to get raided soon, I'm not going to lie. That massive group... Yeah, the Chinese. Yeah, the Chinese group. Yeah, yeah. We're waiting for them, bro. They've raided both of my raid targets for the wipe, and I don't even know what to do anymore. Yeah, we're waiting for them to come right now. I bet they will, bro. And then if they don't end up raiding us, we're going to raid them. Oh, are you going to raid them? Yeah, like 300 plus rockets. Can I join you guys? I have so much boom. We have like 11 people in our team. Yeah, yeah, dude, of course. I know it's just me, but I can farm so much boom, and we get 100% raid, then we'll have enough. If you don't get raided tonight, then I'm happy. To, I'd be keen to join, because I'd be sick to do a big raid on them, because they're fucking deep as f I would be honored, bro. Well, the tables had turned quite suddenly. This group who recognized me had been raided three times already this wipe, and had re-established themselves near the mining outpost, not far from where my farm base was. It was like the final piece of the puzzle had fallen into my lap, as all I really needed to raid China was a few more people to help out. These guys needed a day or so to prepare for the raid, and I spent this time continuing to farm like I do best. As I made more rockets, I stashed them in the bunker before hopping off for the night before the big day. You couldn't script it. China, overnight, had raided my farm base. And of course, as we've come to learn, this doesn't matter in the slightest. Everything that was of value to me, including all of my rockets, was kept safely overnight at the bottom of the ocean while I was offline. I just love the idea that they thought they could offline raid another victim, all while clueless to the fact that the rockets that were going to be sent at their base in a matter of hours were sitting and hiding at the bottom of the ocean the entire time. I headed over to the base of the boys I met the day before, and just like that, it was time to party. Tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila, and this shit tasty.
about a million I'm fucking leaning I feel like my life is a movie Damn, it's too easy Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders Hit the embassy It's bag or die it was never about loot, and unfortunately, we picked the one time they weren't online to send the raid, but you know what? That felt like justice. We sold all their loot in their vending machines for dirt cheap, and I don't think I've ever seen more drones in one place before. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely like this one too, where I built a base that I could use to parachute to oil rig.